Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to cook pan-seared scallops with blood orange and star fruit burr rouge sauce. Now, I'm starting with nine gorgeous scallops, okay? Um, I have pat them dry as best I can and I have one more paper towel here. You want to make sure that these guys are um, nice and dry so that they can sear up well in your pan. If they're just wet, they're just going to steam. Nothing's going to happen. They're not going to brown and that is not what you want. You want them to be seared and beautiful. Okay. These are 10 to 20 count scallops and they're nice and juicy. What you're looking for are scallops that are still nice and plump when you when you push them. They don't have much give and they smell sweet and slightly salty. Oh, love scallops. They are a nice uh, mild flavor to uh, play off all kinds of different things. So we're going to use some really interesting things today. We're gonna to use some blood oranges, which are really beautiful. Uh, they have gorgeous uh, flesh and zest. Uh, their uh, beautiful ruby color inside and I'm using some star fruit these are fantastic they kind of have the flavor of grapes and pears and apples and uh, citrus all mixed together and the consistency is that of kind of like a firm grape uh, the outside is a little bit waxy and boy are they fun because they are the shape of a star and it's kind of like you know ocean themed right you have like the starfish and some scallops and things we have a really great cinco de mayo appetizer here or something special for mother's day or a birthday or just anytime you want to celebrate with some seafood uh so on my stove top i have a frying pan heating up okay large enough to accommodate all of your scallops that you're using and i have about a tablespoon of olive oil in there i want this to be a very very hot pan uh, everything's going to happen very quickly. These guys don't take but a couple minutes in the pan. And then we're going to create a beurre blanc sauce to serve over top of them. So let's preheat that pan and let's get things prepared so that everything is ready and we're ready to throw things in. It's going to have to be pretty quick. So first things first, I've washed uh, my fruit and I'm going to zest my blood oranges because I want to use some of the zest. I may not use all of it, but hey, you can dry it and use it for another recipe later. Don't waste that. Um, and then I'm going to juice them. So just get at it. You don't want to go right to the um, pit. You just want to take that top layer of colored zest. That has all the beautiful essential oil in there. It's so fragrant, ten intense flavor, but not bitter. As soon as you get into that whiter color uh, underneath it, that's where things get better. So I've cut up my blood oranges and look at the spectacular colors of this. And that's why I'm calling it a Beurre Rouge sauce because it's going to be a red butter sauce. They're fantastic. And then I've sliced up my star fruit. Don't they look gorgeous? So I have some white wine ready, some freshly ground black pepper. I have about a tablespoon of freshly minced cilantro. I have butter. I also have some cold butter on hand for the Beurre Rouge sauce at the end. You have to put cold butter in. But to start with, it doesn't matter. And then I have my nine scallops, I have two blood oranges, and some star fruit, and the zest. Okay, everything is prepared. I'm not really going to put much salt. I might just sprinkle a little bit of hint of sea salt at the very end. I don't want to over salt things. These guys came from the sea, and I like to appreciate their natural deliciousness. All right, so things are moving along here. My pan is very hot, and that's what I want. I want it to be like smoking hot, okay? You wanna put about a tablespoon of butter in there. The reason I put the olive oil in is so that the butter doesn't burn. It's going to increase the smoking point so things uh, can cook a little better. Butter and scallops and citrus, not much goes better together. Combine the butter and the olive oil together and you want things to be sizzling here. These won't take but maybe a minute on each side. You just want to achieve brownness, that's it. Uh, Pat them dry one more time if you want to. And I'm going to get them with a little bit of pepper. You could use white pepper for this, but I don't care. I like the black flex. I have no problem with that. Flip them over. There's also, I have salt in my butter, so I don't really have to salt much going on here. Okay, now into the pan. You wanna have your uh, tongs ready. I'm gonna be quick with this, okay? Into the pan. Oh, it smells so amazing. Cut up some cold butter into chunks. Juice your blood oranges quickly. Look at that color, wow. 
check on your scallops. They're almost there. Don't walk away for too long. I have a little plate ready because I'm going to take the scallops out of the pan while I create a little bit of a sauce. Turn them over. Look at this. Whoa. Aren't they absolutely beautiful? You have the brownness of what you're looking for. Scallops have a bit of a sweetness, so they caramelize really easily. Maybe another minute on the other side and we're done. All right, these scallops are done. So I'm going to put them onto plates. Uh, three I'm serving, it would be up to five, I guess, for an appetizer, but we're having a couple course meal tonight. So these are just a starter. They look beautiful. They're beautifully browned. And you want those little brown bits on the bottom of the pan that are there. They're gonna be perfect for our canned sauce. All right, keep these guys warm while we do this quick sauce. Look at that. First off, we're gonna eyeball and we're going to deglaze the bottom of the pan with maybe a quarter of a cup of wine. You might have to scrape the bottom of it. You want all those beautiful buttery brown bits. I'm gonna turn it down to about a medium heat. In goes your blood orange juice. I sometimes use the pulp, but no, I'm not tonight. So let's reduce this down a little bit and concentrate the flavors, probably at least by half. I'm also going to add a tablespoon of this fantastic vinegar so it can really concentrate a really beautiful flavor of blood orange and give that tang that you need for a, uh, bur, a bur blanc sauce, for a blue, bur rouge sauce tonight. Oh, that smells beautiful. A little bit more pepper. Stir the bottom so things don't burn. I'm gonna add a little bit of zest now, maybe a teaspoon. Oh, it smells amazing. You only need enough sauce for as many scallops as you have. So I don't need a lot of sauce, but we're gonna make it really extra special. You're looking for an even amount of butter versus the liquid that you produce. So I'm looking at maybe, I don't know, 12 cubes of butter here I'm going to add to this, and I want them to be cold butter. I'm gonna add them one at a time, and I'm going to whisk them in as they go. I'm taking the sauce off the heat at this point while I finish adding my butter. This is going to fortify the sauce. It's going to thicken it and make it extra rich and beautiful. And right here at the end, I'm adding my star fruit, as many as you think you might need. Coat them in that hot sauce. Add your cilantro. Move the pan around, cover those star fruit. That allows your liquid to just reduce a little bit more. So you've got the star fruit softening up and they're coated in this gorgeous barouge sauce. We're gonna do a quick taste test of the sauce. Things are reducing, that's great. Let's do a quick taste. Oh, wow. Mmm, -hmm. that is amazing. Mmm, that's good. We're gonna take it off right now. It's perfect. It's sweet. Oh, it's tangy too. I add that last bit of butter, cold butter. Whisk that in. Oh, what a lovely sauce. All right, so I'm gonna place the star fruit on the bottom of a serving dish. Go. They look so good. Boy. So everyone that gets a scallop can get a star fruit too. You can serve it like family style or appetizer style as you would at a full table, or you can serve them individually. What a presentation this will be. So I'm just going to put these scallops on top of the hot star fruit with the butter, just scatter them about. So I have a few slices of the fresh star fruit that I just cut into little slices too. So you have a couple points. Okay, spoon some of the gorgeous Baru sauce over top of them. Oh my goodness. Citrus, butter, scallops, tang, sweet, all sorts of flavors you want. Beautiful. All right, and I'm gonna sprinkle with just a little bit of extra zest, just lightly. 
and then a little bit of the fresh cilantro all over the top. Oh boy. Well, I'm going to grab a few here for myself. Remove the star fruit. And the scallops. Awesome. And a couple of the fresh ones. You may need to use a little bit extra of the sauce from the pan. And that looks absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. Ooh wee. You can see this. It's hard to see. I can't tip it really well. <laughs> Anyhow, it looks fantastic. All right, so I'm going to try it here. I'm going to cut the star fruit so I can have some of that with the scallop. Oh boy. Cut the scallop in half. Beautiful. Moist and tender. Mmm. 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 That's crazy good. Mmm. Mmm. The star, man, the star fruit that was in the pan, it's slightly tender, but still has a crunch. And then you have the raw. Mmm. That sauce is to die for, my goodness. The scallops are sweet. Mmm. Mmm. And meaty. Yummy. So I served everybody else because you need to serve these right away. You don't want them to get um, dry or cold. Mmm. Mmm. The perfect combination of sour and sweet. What a lovely appetizer. Mmm. These are awesome. And I'm going to tell you what, this blood orange vinegar gave a heck of a lot of flavor to that. Really, really concentrated things and allowed me to create that burr rouge sauce. So check out winecountrykitchens.com for this beautiful vinegar and their whole line of uh, fruit vinegars. They are beautiful. They are um, very versatile, really fun, and give a lot of flavor for a lot of bang for your buck. Anyhow, I want to go and devour this, so I'm going to let you guys go. So that's it. That's how you cook pan-seared scallops with blood orange and starfruit fur rouge sauce. All right? You're going to love it. Try it. And if you're looking for something special for a Valentine's for your sweetie, that's a good one too. All right? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. Like the fan page at Facebook.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on iFood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. YouTube.com slash Cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly. And I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at CookingWithKimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.